All right, today we're gonna bring a multi view for HDMI, and this is a 4K version of it. Uh, if you guys can see, I have connected through two computers. I'm gonna connect the third one right now, but I just want you to see it first. This is an IR connection for your remote control. So if you have it in a different room or somewhere else, you could expand this, you could send this out. Now, they do give you the actual source. If you have power, internal power, all right, you could connect in here. Now there's five connect, there's four connections, I'm sorry, four connections and one output. The output's gonna go to the TV here, and we're gonna connect three different computers on it. And they give you the actual mount for if you have a rack or you want to side on the side of the mount or in the back of the wall, you can do that. The power source and the remote control. The remote control is easy to use. It's just changing the channels to each different inputs, four inputs. Remember, four computers are could, could go in here. PlayStation 5, um, your Xbox, and two other digital formats, HDMI go out to your TV. So remote control, you can do a remote. We're gonna have one, two, three, four computers on right now, and they are gonna be sharing the same screen so we could work together. So this is my work area right here. We're gonna be working together side by side with other people, and we wanna share things on the monitor. We can do that, and we could do it at 4K, and if we wanna get some free time, we could play our, our PlayStation 5 here, and we should do it very simple. So let's go ahead and test it out and see how well it works. Let's take a look at the module. This is a 4K module, right? Now, you are going to require the main cable to be a 2.0, 2.1, all right? With this one, then the rest of them could be normal 2.0. <clears throat> but this one has to be 2.1 to the main TV because it's a 4K. It's going to start this thing. Now, I do have a couple of cables that are 8K, 4K, 8K. These are regular, normal ones, but these two right here are actually 8K. All right? So I got three 8Ks, one, two three and two of them are normal 2.0 they're on there they're 4k but that's about it now the module itself in the front of it got a couple of things you should be aware of here resolution you you could change the res on there right uh, this was the module to divide every single T monitor and I'm going to show you a little bit more with the controller inputs and automatic and then the power of course so let's go ahead and set it up and take a look so right now I have one computer here, two right there, three, and then number four down there, right? So they're all connected. And this is a Mac, and this is a Dell, and that's a Dell down there. And that's my own PC that I made. And of course, we have a, a couple of my Mac here. So we're going to take a look at it, and we're going to see how well it works. So I just got to make sure that number one, it's this one. This is gonna be number one. So I'm gonna change it to number one. So I'm gonna click on it. And if you guys can see it, that's number one right there, right? Same background. I just had to change some backgrounds on all of them so you guys can see the difference, all right? This is one. All right, we're gonna number two. Number two is the one in the bottom, which is that one right there, number two. It's, that's the background of that one. And then we're gonna change it to number three. Number three is gonna be this one right here. All right, this is number three. Goes into the number three. And then we're going to number four, which is the Mac. All right, let's change it to number four. And that's how it is, number four. So we have all of them. Or now we're going to go and change the actual monitor so they could all be in one monitor and one TV, all right? So click on it and look at this. That's one right there, right? But you keep clicking on it, it's going to change your different modes, all right? Those are two different computers right there, all right? Dividing them, dividing them. And then we're going to go to two of them. It's adding two and it's going to do the same thing. Three monitors, three, three computers. Make more room. You just got to continue until you get to the four. Here's all four computers that we have. And the resolution, it is, you can tell the res is high. And you can see every single one of them, four computers into this module here. Now, like I said, recommendation, 2.1 cable to run the main TV. And then from there, you could add your normal ones. But as you can see, all four of them, one, two, three, and four are running from the same monitor, high resolution. Look at this quality of it. It's actually each monitor is like a 20 inch monitor. All right, that's not bad. So if you're going to be gaming, 
you could be transferring all this into one single stream. You could stream from this box, this actual individual display and stream it too. So you could have four different players, different computers, different resolutions, and it'll still play really normal. So uh, another thing you could broadcast anything from any of these computers into that system that system could go into a string card so another way you can use this device very good high resolution we have a 4k 8k and 8k and another 8k so all my computers are here sorry about the mess but we're just demoing this thing how well it works and look at that all the lights are in one and then we could click on individually, go one by one. So we're gonna go one, that's one right there. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna go backwards, three, three, two, one. Easy to use, easy to install. I hope you guys enjoy the video.